Welcome back. Last time, we found some lava. I believe it was over here. Get a little more light in here. Let's see. Was it down here? I don't think it was. But there's... That's fine. Looks like there is some more cave down there and some iron. So we'll have to take a look at that. I believe it was right over here. Some lava. And our buddy, the creeper. Yes. Lava is used for making obsidian, which you need in order to get to the nether, which is this game has this like hell type world where everything is dark and scary and that's pretty much what the nether is, but there are several things in the nether that you can't get any other way than going to the nether. So we will be doing that at some point, not right now. Uh, I will be collecting this iron though, and the way you deal with lava in your way is the, almost the same way you deal with water, you just block it off. Um, however, as you can see, the lava will continue to exist for a short while after you block it off, whereas water very, very quickly disappears. So we're going to get rid of that so we can pick up all this iron all over the place. And more gems. That is excellent. So let's make room for these gems. And let's uh, turn this off. I was using this in, in my experimentation game. Okay, let's see. I don't care about that. Alright, so our whole goal here was to get as deep down into the cave system as we could. These are just uh, more gems, they're just green. I'm going to leave those be for now. Alright, so let's see if we can get further down into the cave system here. light to guide us and I like to put two torches anywhere where it might not be obvious where to go as kind of a guide so it looks like we're in luck here this goes pretty deep and we're already seeing gold this is gold right here some of the more valuable ores in the game don't even get generated until you're pretty low in the uh, down in the world so, I was going to build a ladder. Oh look, Mr. Creeper again. Come on, jump up here. Oh look, you brought, you brought friends. Gotcha. Oh, look at that kinds of friends. Um, there are dungeon spawners in the game that can spawn monsters, however, you cannot find a dungeon spawner for creepers, and I believe that's it though, and pretty much anything else you can get a spawner for, including some of the newer monsters like the uh, silverfish. However, the silverfish spawners can only be in strongholds, which is a special type of building that you have to have a special item just to get to. So I'm gonna make, actually I'm gonna make more torches than that. There we go, that's much better. So let's see if we can find some diamonds. Diamonds are what we really want. Diamonds are extremely valuable. They're very hard so they make excellent tools that are extremely durable. Let's see, I need to just get rid of this water, because it's just making trouble for me at this point. Mm. 
And it looks like we've got some tin down here as well. I'm definitely, this is either tin or silver. They look very similar. But I am going to need tin. So hopefully that's what this is. We'll get rid of the tree cap. Looks like it's silver. Yeah. I'm going to need silver too. Not nearly as much as I'm going to need tin though. Silver is a red power 2 item. And it is used for making the red power 2 version of electricity called Blutricity, and that is used for various Red Power 2 machine items, such as the Sorter and the Retriever, and more machine type items to come. So I'm really excited about that. That's actually one of my favorite mods. So let's see how low down that went. So there's a lava pool here, so I'm guessing that my Y is going to say 12. Yeah. It looks like this is the lava pool level right here, and that generally means you're at 12. So if I were to have dug down with the ladder, what I would have done is I would have started doing this routine where I, I dig, and then I just dig a tunnel, and I dig out as far as I can in each direction once like that. That uncovers the most surface, and then I go three in this direction, and I do that again. However, this method of mining is extremely boring. Um, and then if you find something you want, you just dig over to it. And I suspect that this, maybe tin, yeah, I think it was. And you don't want to leave those unlit because if you ever come back to this, you don't want monsters to spawn. So make sure you light those up when you do this. Now, I know that if you dig this out, you technically light up more area, or you uncover more area with a more of a possibility of finding stuff, but you don't, with this row of things that you dig out, you don't uncover as much surface as you do with the first row. This is um, nickelite right here. Nickelite is also needed for blutricity stuff, so we're going to go ahead and collect this as well, and I am running quickly out of room in my inventory for much of anything, so we may be calling this trip, uh, we may be like ending this trip soon. But I would like to find some diamond if possible. This is right here, this is redstone dust, okay? And redstone dust is used for many of the red power items as well. In addition, Red Power is actually a vanilla item that's used for creating various machines and contraptions that do things for you automatically or that uh, just control things such as doors. You can make uh, doors that are controlled by a switch or a lever or a pressure plate. And also you can make um, something called cannons. It's actually used, you use TNT and water in such a way that when you activate your redstone circuitry the TNT will uh oh that was a close one don't wanna got a visit from some lava there alright let's see if we can take care of that yeah. um, you gotta be careful of that see I almost got myself killed just now Gotta be very careful. You can see the lava dripping down from above. That, if you see that dripping like that, that means that directly above whatever is dripping is lava. And the water does it too. Obviously, the drips aren't going to be lava colored if it is water, though. So that's what that is, and I was extremely fortunate just now not to die, because I don't know if you noticed, but I looked up and there was lava right there, just about to land on my face. <laughs> and that's not fun. Okay, so where were we? We were right here, is that right? Let's see. Here. So we want one, two, and then here. The only 
way to really deal with that is to just like as quickly as possible destroy the lava spot with or cover it with a solid block. Um, the drips don't hurt you, which I know seems strange, but <laughs> it's true. So it doesn't look like we're going to find any diamond today. And I'm worried that that is possibly one of the most boring things you could possibly watch on YouTube at all. So I'm not sure I want to do a lot of it. We'll do a little bit more. Yeah, gravity affected blocks here. The gravel is falling and making this take even longer. Oh my goodness. Wow. The lava and the gravel just making this as difficult as possible. All right. So basically, if you're looking for diamonds and you can't find a cave, the best way to do it is to do this. You just keep digging in this way, and sooner or later, you will hit diamond. And make sure that you... This is an excellent level to be on, too, where your Y coordinate reads 12.6 because generally you will not have the lava problems that I just had. Most of the time the lava will be you'll uncover it and will be in like where this block here is instead of digging into it and it falling on your head which is actually fairly uncommon at this level so I just got very very unlucky that's what happened Oh, look there. Some diamonds. So this is diamond right here. And when you find diamond, what you want to do is dig out all around the diamond because things in this game are generated in veins, and the veins are generally made such that each ore is touching another ore in the vein. So it's possible to dig this out and you miss one of the one of the ores because there might have been one touching it diagonally where you can't see it. So always dig around like so. Let's get rid of some of this. Let's see. I don't care very much about gravel. And uh, 64 nickelite is fine for now. Let's get rid of all this cobblestone. Okay, so, and it looks like, so far, there's only going to be, yep, there are only two diamonds in this vein, but that's okay, I'm not going to complain about two diamond. Two diamond is very nice. Okay, we've got our two diamonds. Let's see if there's anything else we can get rid of for this Nicolite that we don't really care much about. Like saplings. Do we care about saplings? Yes, we do, because I don't think there's a lot of trees close by, so we'll hang on to the saplings. Hmm. I don't think I care very much about cobblestone. Not exactly the hardest thing to replace. So, let's see if I can remember how I got here and how to get out using my little torch on the right system. I always place my torches on the right so that on the way out, I can just follow the torches on the left-hand side. And then, in addition to that, if there is a place... Ah, I just... I find caves so tempting, it's so difficult to leave when I find a branch like this. But I guess the problem solved itself. In addition, um, if there's a large enough area that I feel like the, the torch over there doesn't light it up, I'll place on the ground to the left. That way I know that if I see a torch on the ground, that 
it should not be considered to be on the side that it's on for the purposes of finding my way through the caves. Oh, hey, Mr. Creeper. It's always fun to have a visit from Mr. Creeper when you notice it. Not so much when you don't. Okay, so how do we get out of here? It's looking like right there. Do we have anything that I can place to get myself up there? Uh, we'll get rid of that and dig up some cobblestone. We'll use that. Okay. Looks like I did not get even nearly enough. Actually, let's see. just gonna jump in place. It's much faster. Okay. Looks like we are gonna be able to get out of here. Yeah, that's the wrong kind. Uh-oh. Sounds like a skeleton. And it is. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. Ah, I like the bones. Bones will become bone meal, which... Oh, what is going on? Is this the right way? See that? I got myself lost for briefly because I jumped down over there. Okay, so we're going to head home and cook some of this up. And I know this was probably kind of a boring episode... But um, hopefully I have enough material now that in the next episode I will be able to make some... Oh, look at that. I didn't follow my own system. No, I did. How do I get out of here? Here? No, not there. And this is not it either. This is where I came up. Maybe I was not doing my torch system. Ah, there. There. Yeah, I should have uh, done that so that I know. Hey, you gotta go up here. <laughs> uh, let's get some. Ah, oh, goodness, the iron is in a frustratingly annoying place. Ow. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted it to either. So, I'd like to make you guys some industrial craft machines so that you can see some of the really cool stuff that you can make and some of the goals that you shoot for. Oh my goodness, I need to stop doing that. I'm about to die. Ah, let's eat. Shall we? Right there. I'm about to be in trouble. I think that's going to be enough to make me heal. So let's run. Okay, so... Oh, following me up. That's not okay. Well, if you're going to be that way, I'm going to heal the rest of the way. Ah, dirty little skeletons. There you go. Oh, there he is. Quite annoying. Alright, so again, I'd like to show you some industrial craft stuff. There are some machines that you can build that are pretty cool, and basically what they're used for is, let's see if I can figure out a really good way up here. Yes, 
They're used to get you electricity, which is used for other things. The electricity is generally used for um, the more advanced machines, such as teleporters. And there's a thing, if any of you are fans of Star Trek, there's something called a mass fabricator. It's sort of like a replicator. It takes energy and turns that energy into matter. So that requires some uh, uh, quite an extraordinary amount of electricity. And for that, we're going to be building a nuclear reactor at some point. But for now, I suppose since I'm pretty much home, in my zombie-infested underside of a mountain here, I suppose I can see if I can show you guys how to make that generator. And to do so, you do need a furnace. I don't want to use the furnace we're already using, because we're using it. So, you need a crafting table, which I should have one. It doesn't look like I do. Huh. Well, that's me. I'm notorious for that, losing crafting tables. So, <laughs> so we're going to place our crafting table here, and we're going to leave it there and continue to use it in the future. <laughs> and we need a furnace, which is made as such. Pretty sure I already showed you guys this. And then, once you have the furnace, you need iron to make an iron furnace and let me show you the iron furnace since the next thing we need is going to require me to cook up some ores. The iron furnace is pretty much the same thing as a regular furnace but the difference is you can it's, it runs a little bit faster and I believe it cooks one coal to for every one coal it's ten iron and we are going to look up what we need to make a generator. That's the item I want to show you. Generator. Let's see. There's iron furnace. And here's our generator. So we need a rechargeable battery. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know how to make that. A machine block and a furnace. Okay. So it looks like you do not actually need... Ah, here we are. Okay, so instead of the machine block, we'll be using three refined iron, but we still need that recharger, rechargeable battery. There are two different recipes for this item. You can either use a machine block, or you can go with furnace to iron furnace. They both use the same amount of materials. One uses a little more cobble, but cobble costs basically nothing. So to make a rechargeable battery, we're going to need rubber, which you make with sticky resin. So we will be making some rubber with that shortly as soon as this burns out and we get our ingots and I'll show you how to make refined iron as well the furnace the I'm sorry the generator is the first electricity producing industrial craft machine that most people will make um, in fact I believe it's the first an electrical producing machine block that you can make so Let's get ourselves some rubber, which you make by cooking sticky resin. And later on in industrial craft, there is a machine called an extractor, which you can put the sticky resin into, and the sticky resin will make three rubber per sticky resin in an extractor instead of one. But we need to power our extractor with electricity, which needs a generator. So the first bunch of rubber that you make is going to have to be this way. There's not a really a lot of choices in the matter on that. And the next thing we need that we don't have yet um, is refined iron. And I'll show you how to make that next. Do we have an extra furnace? We don't. Let's make one. Make this process go a little faster. Okay, so to make refined iron, you simply cook up regular iron. And the regular iron recooks and becomes refined iron. Okay, we only need six of this, but we do need copper. So we're going to cook up copper next. All right, and we only need three of this. Come on. 
Come on. As you can see, the iron furnace moves a pretty decent amount faster. Okay, and we also are going to need tin. So let's put some tin in here while this finishes up. Your copper ingots are probably going to look different from mine because this is a Red Power 2 one from back way earlier in, I believe, Episode 3. So um, in the future, when I find copper, it's not going to look that way. But it'll still work. So three copper ingots in a row. And you can either do this with your rubber, okay, and that'll make six copper cable. Or you can just make your uninsulated copper cable and then combine it with your rubber. Either way, it's just two different ways of doing it. It doesn't really matter. I usually do it the way that I just did the second way. So now, I was actually mistaken in one thing. We do need one more refined iron. So we'll just cook the last of that regular iron. So the first thing we need to make is... Actually, we don't need that. That's okay, though. All right, so the first thing we need to make is that battery. To make a battery, you simply use this recipe here. And there's our battery. Okay, and then it was our iron furnace okay plus three refined iron and our battery and that gives us our generator so you place your generator let's make a little area let's dig something out here for now it's just going to be something really small place your generator down and then your other machines will connect to your generator on either side or with wires okay so that is the first electricity producing industrial craft 2 item and it works just like a furnace. So if you were to take your coal and put it in your furnace, I'll put three in there. Okay, and you only see two because the first one is burned immediately. And it looks like there's another item I'm gonna need here today to show you. And that is made with planks, just as if you were making a furnace. I'm going to make two of them. We're going to make chests because my inventory is getting extraordinarily full. So let's place our chests here. And two of them next to each other will make this double chest. So let's open that up and put ores and just various items that I don't want to have on me all the time into this chest. And then we will call that the end of the episode after I show you how much energy those three coal gave me um, I know you won't really know yet whether it's a good amount or not but it basically the way you tell is this fills up I believe that's 4,000 or 8,000 energy I'm not sure but one coal will fill the generator completely and then it will empty up into any machines that we create and put next to the generator or you can connect your machines using your copper cable which is just like this and then if I were to put a machine right here then that machine would get power from the generator so that's the end of episode 5 if you like this episode please click like if you like the series please subscribe and thanks for watching.